Risa Foundation has a new feature that allows you to place a shear slice into a slab edge. So for this example here, I have an existing slab in which put, I would be applying a, an additional slab right next to it. So if I draw a, um, a, an as-built slab here, drawing a 12-inch slab right next to this slab, what's going to happen internally is the program will sub-mesh these two slabs together at solution time. What we can do is add, instead of allowing that uh, to f transfer all the forces across that at edge here, we can add the shear splice, which will allow the program to only transfer the shear, uh, not the moment across there. So to do that, you can go to Modify Edge uh, under the Draw Slabs tool. So clicking on that tab there, Modify Edges. By default, it's set to Fixed, and that would indicate that blue line. If we change it to Pinned, we can click on a slab edge, and clicking on that slab edge there where it intersects on both sides, that turns different colors to indicate that it's now a pin. Then we can also add a 50 kip point load directly to this new slab. So I just drop in a new point load there. I can solve this model. It's going to run through the solution and it's submeshing the plates underneath my slab. So all these are going to be, like I mentioned, submeshed. Um, but we should see that the moment doesn't transfer across that. So a good way to see that here, I'm going to actually show it a little bit full color. And we can see that that moment is only segregated into this slab and it's not crossing across that slab. You can see my contours, colors coded on the right here.